people. Okay. <laughs> Hello, I'm Eileen Dorsey, and I'm a visual artist from Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, I was asked to uh, create a painting for the Sonata Number no. 5 project. So this is a painting that I created. I chose to focus on movement number one and parts of number two. I started this painting by uh, working with the background. I started with these like yellow colors, and at the time I was looking at some Joan Mitchell works. And I was really interested in the subtlety of light, kind of like Impressionist paintings that kind of went through over when you overlap all these marks. So I started that. And um, during the whole process, I was, um, I was actually listening to the music uh, on repeat. by listening to this on repeat and from listening to the music um, over and over again I kind of felt like there was a flow that was happening with the music um, and I found myself almost dancing with it and so um, and that's how I reacted to putting the brush strokes down. I didn't really have like a whole lot of direction with the exception of um, the other inf the influences that were happening in my life and I just looked at a uh, photo I took when I was uh, traveling uh, to Colorado with a friend of mine and we were sitting on this um, kind of like plateau and I could see kind of like a cliff in the distance and so I think that's why I started I kind of painted this cliff right here um, but then I would you know make marks and I'd flip it to its side and start adding more and more things and then I'm realizing that I'm adding things that are dealing with issues in my life, uh, things I've recently seen, seen influences, like the flowers and um, this kind of like almost tabletop. It has to do with projects I was working on. Uh, so uh, I had this idea in, in my mind, and I was always kind of focusing on um, the song uh, Ring Around the Rosie popped in my head because, you know, it's about a plague. I think that's why I decided to kind of make this floral arrangement. And um, in fact, I did actually write a pocket of po full of posies on the side of the painting. this painting it was the week before we were in lockdown from COVID-19 so there was this kind of uncertainty looming knowing that we most likely would be experiencing the same things here as they were in uh, China and other countries. I was, uh, there was a couple times I had the music off and I was sitting back looking at it and I had uh, like a, 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 like a, I wanted to get up and make a mark and I realized, nope, that's not part of this experiment. painting this, this painting, um, yeah, I said I was flipping it on its side and I was going to um, I was going to have it a different way. I did start it off this orientation, but I was going to possibly have that on the top, but I decided to actually keep it as in its original state. Um, but the color choices are, um, the color choices are important because they are much lighter than the palette that I normally work in. And I think that has to do with the music. I don't usually listen to um, this type of music when I'm working. I'm usually more like um, uh, heavier rock, um, definitely not kind of classical. Um, so in that way, I think I was working in kind of lighter tones from that. Uh, blues happened to pop in my mind. Uh, I think it's maybe because I was thinking of wind or water or something, and the strokes are kind of the the movements I was making are actually what I was visualizing like if I was to be dancing. 
There was a, a good amount of restraint that had happened when I was making this. I actually had to resist making marks uh, while I wasn't listening to the music because I wanted to add more aggressive movements, darker and brighter color, but they didn't work with the uh, with what I was listening to. So I wanted to be true to what I was working on.